Hey everyone who's watching this now, first I just want to say thank you for even clicking on this and viewing and everything, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for everyone who gave me a lot of suggestions for this video, to be my first video, and I listened to one person who gave me a really good idea, um, her name is SYN on Instagram, she gave me the idea to show all my costumes and how I made them and all that, and a lot of people also commented telling me those things too, so I'm going to show you all of them, and I actually don't have all the costumes together. Some of them are, you know, like a little drawer compartment away. I have no idea where they technically are. My mom puts them away, to be honest. But I have a lot of props and how I made them, and just a lot of little small things. So, hope you enjoy. Okay, so the very first cosplay I ever made was a gender-bent girl in a Azuro from One Piece for New York Comic Con 2013. So I haven't been cosplaying long, unfortunately, and this is kind of, you know, not that great because I didn't really think my, you know, cosplays would go this far into, like, me liking it that much. So the shirt was just a plain white crop top from American Apparel, and I made it a crop top so that you can see the scar on the stomach. Um, the pants, I made the leggings. I saw a tutorial on YouTube on how to make leggings, and it was really simple. And I put the elastic inside, and then I accidentally bought, like, not stretchy at all green fabric. So I just had to stretch out the elastic, and I just sewed it like that on. I folded it over, I flat ironed it, and then um, I just hot glued this on. And then I just folded it over, and it went around my hips, surprisingly, and it kept me up. And so yeah, that's how I made his pants. The swords were... Hot glue was my best friend for this whole thing. These were hot glue together and also taped because, well, not taped, um, it's a string. I just, I wrapped this around my hips and I hid it in between the green. Um, I made these with ribbon. I just wrapped it around, like, a lot. Um, and I just hot glued them together. They were originally from Party City and they were black and they were like $14. And that's my very first cosplay. Oh, and the green wig was from eBay. Periodically, the next cosplay that never happened was this one. It was Sakura from Naruto. This whole costume I didn't make at all. I actually bought it online. It was supposed to be for Halloween, so I don't know if that really counts as a cosplay. But my friend was doing um, like a Naruto thing, and I was part of it. It never came in time, and nothing bad against the piece because it was custom made, and it ended up becoming amazing when I got it. But it's just once that came. I kind of slowly drifted out of watching Naruto, and I just kind of felt like a fraud if I was to ever wear it, so I just never did. So I actually closet cosplayed like two nights before Halloween, Liz Thompson from Soul Eater. So I just had, I don't know where the jeans are, I don't know where the shirt is. The shirt was just exactly like her shirt from American Apparel, and her pants were, um, were from Delia's years ago. The, the shoes I found, they were like black wedges, were from... Pack sun. And, um, this hat I made, because thank god I live in Manhattan, I was able to just go to a party city, a train stop away. Um, I made this top out of felt. It's originally a white cowboy hat I found. Um, this is made out of felt too, and hot glue. I actually don't have like an actual photo of that, but if anything, I'll post it one day. So, the end of my first ever closet cosplay. The next real cosplay I did was Rooney Rockbell from From Final Alchemist, and that was assembled together mostly. Um, I was originally going to get a pattern, get fabric, everything, but then I went to go to Goodwill to go for another cosplay, and right across the street was an army store, and they had a whole entire pilot suit, which is basically what it looked exactly like what Winry wore, um, because it's actually like a one piece, and she just hides the top around her waist. I mean her hips. So this is it. I don't know where the shirt went right now, because yeah, but that's it. Um, and here's the bandana I found, and then I just had black fabric and I just made the top. And the wig I found another place in the outskirts of Manhattan, and the wrench was real. And the shoes I found at some weird shopping district area, and they originally had flowers on them. I just cut them off. I'm going to jump forward to the two closet cosplays I've done before, because they're really short, 
And the first one I've done was L. Elliot from Death Note. It was for his fear week in school. Um, it was supposed to be Gender Bender Day, but I ended up not even going to Gender Bender Day. Um, the wig was from an old dance competition I had, and I just cut it up. And then and the shirt was my dad's shirt. The jeans were my mom's jeans. That's basically it. Um, and then I did Luca from Vocaloid. I probably am saying her name wrong. I'm horrible. But it's from the Just Be Friends video, and I really like that song. And I really like the video. And I watch it all the time, and then I was like, oh, I can cleanse the by this. The pink wig was part of my soccer costume. It's from eBay. This white dress, it doesn't really look like hers at all, but it helped for the video main picture. It was from Brandy Melville, and the flower crown I can't show you because it was my mom's bouquet of flowers, and I just assembled them and then reassembled them and then pretended that never happened. So, yeah. So, the second to last recent cosplay I've done was. Um, Serena from Pokemon X and Y. Um, I did the game version of her, and the top was from American Apparel, and this, the collar I made myself. It looks kind of, you know, crappy right now because it's all jumbled up. The bag was originally a skirt from Goodwill, and I just sewed it over here, and over here, I just sewed the whole thing and made it look like a bag, and I took the extra fabric and made this, so, you know, and, um, I was gonna sew on the little pokey symbol, but, time. And here's the Fennekin from Boys and Rats. I love him a lot. Um, the shoes I made from sticky tape from, like, Michael's or whatever. It's pink. And then the, the skirt I found from Goodwill also that day. It was, a size 8 and a size 0, so I had to cut off a lot on the side. And that side is where I put the pocket, which I have with extra fabric, and her giant little button was from an oatmeal co um, cover, and I just put fabric around it, and I made a little pocket. So, my Sailor Moon costume is currently at my grandpa's house, because the last time I was working on it, I was there. Um, I'm still working on it because I'm such an intense perfectionist on that costume, because I feel like it could be so much better, um, but I'll tell you what I can and explain as much as I can. So the hip rolls and the sleeve rolls were to me the sh hardest part, um, especially the hip rolls. I originally, in my pictures, it looks like a straight across thing. I actually had it like a V, and then wardrobe malfunction, the stitch was wrong, and it just slid up, and I was just like, ugh, whatever. That's yeah, kind of getting fixed. Um, then the skirt was my mom helped me with it, thank god for her. I just doubled it and I made a circle skirt and it took forever, so much trial and error for it to like become shorter and shorter like hers. I'm keeping it that length because I don't want to make it too short. Um, the leotard was, I already had a leotard, I think I got it from Capizio because I'm a ballet dancer, I already had one. Um, the bandeau thing she kind of has underneath her curve whole entire, you know, sleeves and her collar, everything. That I just had from Brandy Melville. It was a plain white bandeau. Um, her collar, I found the t um, pattern online and I just made it and I just added the white string and then the hair I bought from eBay, the accessories I got from Etsy and the shoes I found from Payless, and then I added the, like, they were just plain old Mary Jane looking shoes. I cut off the strap. I painted the heel. I added a sock. I cut off the bottom where the heel should be. I rolled it up. I cut to the V area. Um, I added some white ribbon to make the white around her shoe. And then I added a little moon out of foam. Um, I believe... That's every oh no the gloves the gloves I was going to make for myself too that was horrible I found them at a craft store believe it or not and the the rolls there were also measured and I just made my own patterns okay that was really long and I'm so sorry for everyone who you know wanted a shorter video I tried to make everything as compact as I can. Um, if anyone has any more detailed co um, cosplay costume questions on everything I did, or anything I did, or anything I plan to do, 
let me know, just comment below, and you can keep on telling me your, your suggestions on videos you want me to make and what you want to see. Because I'm really grateful for everyone who, like, helps suggest me things, and I'm grateful for everyone who's watching this and subscribing and doing all those nice things. Thank you so much for currently curing my summer boredom, and I'm so grateful for people to be even willing to listen to me. Just, and thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.